Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 27th series of uh, Principles of uh, Drug Discovery. In this uh, video, we are going to see about uh, protein tertiary structure prediction by NMR, that is uh, nuclear magnetic resonance. How NMR is used for protein structure prediction? A nuclear magnetic resonance is a powerful technique that can be used to study the three-dimensional three structure of proteins. NMR works by exposing a protein sample to a strong magnetic field which causes the individual nuclei in the protein to align with the uh, magnetic field. Radio frequency pulses are then used to excite the nuclei and the resulting signals are detected and uh, used to generate a spectrum uh, that contains information about the protein's structure. So it will be appearing like this. So you will have a amino acid sequence. Then uh, you do with the NMR, uh, you identify the 2D NMR spectrum of the protein. And the next step is uh, study the amino acid interactions in uh, space by nuclear overosser effect and coupling effects. And then the final protein structure could be predicted by the NMR. NMR spectroscopy measures the interactions of atomic nuclei, therefore provides uh, the positions of all atoms including hydrogen. The nuclei of each molecule are electrically charged and many of them spin. Spinning generates a magnetic field. When a nucleus spins at a high energy, it produces a magnetic field in the opposite direction, whereas a nucleus spinning at the lower energy generates a magnetic field in the same direction as the applied external magnetic field. If uh, they align, then the then the new then the a nucleus is said to be at the uh, lower energy level. If they oppose, then the nucleus is said to be at the high energy level. The shift of energy transfer corresponds to the wavelength of the radio frequencies. NMR method does not require crystallized proteins. Samples in liquid form is sufficient. Using this method, a molecule of about 100 kilo daltons can be predicted. Bigger molecules are less precisely predicted. The structure is believed, believed to be more precise as well as accurate if the deviation is smaller. The computation in NMR spectroscopy is done in a time scale that is observed in protein folding. Therefore, it can measure the movements of complete protein domains and is used to observe certain dynamic properties of the proteins. NMR spectroscopy is a powerful experimental technique used to study the structure and dynamics of the biomolecules including proteins. While NMR provides uh, valuable information about the local structure and flexibility of proteins, it's uh, generally not uh, sufficient to determine the high resolution three dimensional structure of uh, large proteins solely through the NMR experiment. So, you have to go for another techniques also. Uh, in that cases, NMR is not sufficient. Instead, NMR is combined with other experimental data and computational methods. To predict the protein structures which are larger. Steps involved in NMR spectroscopy. First is data collection. The NMR experiments are conducted to collect uh, various types of uh, data such as chemical shifts, nuclear overhauser effects, the distances, J coupling constants and residual dipolar couplings. Then data analysis. The collected data are then uh, processed and analyzed to extract uh, relevant information about the protein's structural features. This includes identifying the distance uh, restraints between the pairs of atoms and the dihedral, uh, dihedral angle restraints. Then restraint generation. The extracted data are used to generate distance and dihedral angle restraints which provide constraints for the protein structure. Then the next step is conformational sampling. Computational techniques uh, like uh, molecular dynamic simulations, 
or Monte Carlo methods are employed to sample different conformations of the protein and that satisfy the experimental restraints. Then structure calculation. The conformational uh, sampling results are used to generate a pool of candidate structures that fulfill the experimental restraints. Then structure refinement. The candidate uh, structures are further refined using energy minimization, molecular dynamic simulations or other optimization methods to find the best fit structures. Then structure validation. The final uh, predicted structures has to be where NMR itself cannot give the entire picture. Finally, you have to uh, predict the structures and validate using various criteria such as uh, Ramachandran plot analysis to ensure that they are physically reasonable and consistent with the experimental data. So, the advantages of uh, NMR as a tool to predict the protein structure. Advantages of NMR uh, is that it can provide structural information about proteins in solution rather than just crystallized proteins. Usually in just crystallized proteins, hydrogen will not be uh, represented. It is an important tool for uh, studying uh, the proteins that are difficult to crystallize such as membrane proteins and large protein complexes. NMR can be used in conjunction with uh, the other techniques uh, such as XRD and uh, computational modeling to validate the accuracy of the predicted structures. NMR uh, can also be used to study the dynamics of uh, proteins which can be uh, which can provide important insights into how protein function uh, functions and interact with the other molecules. So it is more related to physics it is more related to molecular dynamics. It uh, assesses every nuclei uh, in conjunction with the nearby uh, atoms. So, we get an overall picture of how an atom uh, spins in the magnetic field, how it aligns with the radio frequency and then how these frequencies and magnetic fields, they interact with the nearby uh, atoms. So, it is, a, it is like a mathematical model uh, which uh, takes into account all the stretching and bendings of the atoms which are present in the molecule. And every aspect is analyzed uh, and it is taken into consideration and then the protein is built. So, it is a very valuable uh, tool uh, in case of NMR. Uh, so, NMR is a very valuable tool. Uh, but it is costly and time consuming. So, it is a very short information of uh, NMR as a tool to predict the protein structure. I hope it will be useful for you. Thanks for listening. Uh, kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. Go through all the series which is available in uh, Pharma Topics related to principles of drug discovery and score well in your exams.